In this video, we're going to be making some color schemes. So this is an example of what we could do. We basically have to find our own color scheme. So let's get started. I have already made the project template, so you can just get it from my uh, GitHub repository on number 12. And this one is before. The second one is before. So I'm just going to get the raw and it's going to download it on my desktop. And I'm just going to copy this over to my htdocs folder. And I'm going to unzip it. And basically, this is the boilerplate for our project. So I'm going to navigate to localhost. I already have MAMP running and I'm just gonna go there. There's nothing there and we're gonna add to it right now. So we're gonna use this thing called one pix deep. This, this basically is a flat bootstrap 3 theme. Basically you can use this to change the color. So once you navigate here you can just click on download and let's just put it on desktop and I'm gonna unzip this and I'm going to grab these two files. So let's just copy that Let's go to htdocs in this folder, dev less, and I'm just going to paste it here. I'm just going to change the name of that file to theme so that we can reference it easily. And now I'm just going to drag and drop this to Sublime. And I'm going to open app.less, and we're just going to import those two files. So first we're going to import scheme and second we're going to import theme. These are basically these two files that we just added here, scheme and theme. So if you go back here, I'm just going to clear my cache, command shift delete or control shift delete and I'm just going to only check empty the cache. And now I'm going to refresh, and you can already see that something is happening. To actually see it, let's go and grab an example. I'm going to go all the way down here, pick my favorite example. So I click on this and pick this, and I'm going to paste it in our index. I'm just going to quickly make a container, and I'm just going to make a make a column. And I'm just going to paste it right there. And let's see if we get anything. Good, so it's working. I got the column wrong, but the point here is that the, we have a new color scheme. Let me just fix this just so that we can move on. Okay, so now it's very easy to change the color. All, all you need to do is to change the seed color. And you can see how that will look if you change it here. So let's say we want this color. And here it will give you a preview of how it looks. And if you go up in the, um, in the home section, it is an accented analog color scheme. And if you change it to, let's say, monochrome, you can see how that looks. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to go back to Sublime. In the scheme file, this is basically the only col color that generates the scheme. So if I go back here, I should probably clean my cache. Let's do that. And that should change the color. As you can see, it's all applied. And you can choose what kind of scheme you want. Here is uh, the analog, accented analog. So I'm just going to I'm gonna comment that. And I'm going to uncomment the monochrome. And this should change the color. As you can see, it's all applied. So now, you can use the colors. These are the colors that are available that you can use to change the colors of different components. So let's say you want to change the color of your button. You can just go and add it here. So this is a button and it's using color 4. If I change it to 3, it should change that to a different color. Let's say if I change it to 1, it should be a different color. And if you want to see if the colors are available, you can go to theme less and you can navigate to the section of that component so let's say we want to see if that color is available for the button so I'm going to find the 
button and I want to see if the colors how many colors are available for it so there is the button section it starts there and ends all the way down here and these are all the colors that are available basically you have access to all the colors from one to four and you have all the different tints so let's do an, an, another example let's go to the bootstrap site and I'm just gonna look at the panel I'm just gonna grab a panel because you can basically change the panel heading footer and the body so let me find the panels here I'm gonna grab the panel with heading and I'm just gonna copy that and I'm going to put paste that in a new section in my container so let's say we have a column that's four wide and I'm just gonna paste that there let's see if we have anything okay so we have something there now this is default we don't want default we just want panel so I'm just gonna get rid of that and if you look at the theme theme.less and look for panel here you can see for panel heading body and footer you have access to all these colors so if I come back here and I say panel heading color 1 that should change the color of the heading let's say 3b that should change the color down there so that's basically it um, you can do basically endless color scheming with this and you can change all the color wheels and different schemes so i hope this video was useful i'll see you in the next one